them there. All right, deep, deep Q. Nice, exactly as wanted. Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Lux mid guide and we're going to be against Diana. We're going to talk about some weird spells, runes, builds, what to max and how to generally play Lux, what's the combo. Also, I rate this champion if you were to rate them by easy, medium or hard. I rate her somewhere between easy and medium. She's sort of like maybe one of the easiest mages to try to understand. She's not probably S tier by any means. And so let's talk about a bit about the runes, about starting items, all of that. I'm playing with Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch. For secondary you can go either for Presence of Mind Cup, Degrace and these rune stats, or you can go for something like uh, Inspiration with Time Warp Tonic or, uh, and Biscuits, or with the 5% cooldown reduction rune and the Biscuits. So it's up to you and your choice. I generally start with Doran's Ring and Hell Potions on Lux. Uh, I think I like too much the physical damage to minions on hit and the extra HP. Also, you'd probably like and want to poke this guy a lot with your E ability. You'd want to start with it, you'd want to max it. The E ability is this Lux Loss and Singularity ability and allows you to actually poke people. And after that, you proc the passive whenever you do Q, E, or ultimate. Uh, ultimate actually procs the passive as far as I remember. Okay, let me just... So if you read on the... This this ultimate ignites and refreshes the elimination debuff. So basically, Lux's, Lux's passive is whenever you hit a Q an, or an E, or even an ult, you apply that elimination debuff, and when you auto-attack, you deal extra damage. And you can see that... I'm gonna show you... Yeah, okay, I missed this. You can see that here. You basically consume the auto attack and you deal some extra damage. Now I've lost some CS here because I was trying to talk about it but we're going to just make her lose a bit more because she's not playing with corrupting and we're going to do just fine. And I'm gonna just auto attack her to death apparently. And so when you're playing Lux you'd probably want to max E which is this bread and butter spell which is this spammable spell. You'd also want to get Q at level 2. Q is a CC spell that can lock down two targets it can basically root them and so if you miss it okay i'm jax why is jax here what what is happening i'm i've escaped this but why <laughs> this, this. <laughs> All right, all right i'm out <laughs> so whenever you're you're ganked by a jax at level two you gotta understand that it's quite trollish and you gotta be well, smart and safe about it, I guess. I'm just gonna... Ah, oh my god! Don't mind me. I'm just losing my own CS here. I'm a bit tilted by the Jax game, I'll be honest. So let's just get all the CS that we can here. What is Jax doing? Push the lane and move towards other lanes? Also, I have more, 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 much more farm than this guy. So, as I said, the E, you want to max it. Max it first, get level 6 ult whenever you can at 6, at 11, at 16, sorry, and then uh, at level 2 get Q, at level 3 get W, your W is a shield, uh, just cast it towards teammates in team fights. try to get as many of them as you can, especially the ones that are focused. After that you'd want to uh, generally catch people in the mid to late game with a Q, E, W, sorry, Q, E, ultimate combo, generally that would be something that can one shot people, also you gotta understand that your ultimate has a very low cooldown after level 11 there and you can actually do a lot more with her uh, you can you can usually just spam it in team fights like you can use it two times in a team fight compared to other mages if you are doing fine so let me just perfectly farm this i'm gonna miss that minion yep not really perfectly farm but since uh, i got ganked by the jackson used my everything i'm just gonna be a bit more defensive than usual because who even expects that gank he even died come on Dude, you, you are annoying. So she can even jump on me. Lux is fun, by the way, against assassins, because compared to other mid lane mages, you actually have the tools to defend yourself against them. I'm just gonna recall here now, because I really hate how Diana pushed me in and got advantage by other stuff. Also, you'd probably want for builds to start with something like... Uh, 
lost chapter like this item after that you want to go for boots you want to get vision words every time and as much as you can you'd want to move towards other stuff like finishing ludens then sorg shoes right here then orb into morelos if they have lots of fields if not rabadons pretty much the standard mid lane build that you can see on most champions and yeah, that's, that's what you'd want to go for. You can finish the build with either getting a Zonia later on, and I'm gonna get that. And I'm gonna start poking a bit more this guy. She can jump on me under tower, I don't care. She's level 6. Also, we want to get this. Nice, 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 nice. And as you can see, I'm still a heady farm, even though I got that hard gang to my face. I'm seeing a Momo, so we can ward somewhere towards this zone. Okay, I'm gonna put a word here. Right, I can actually push now because she backed off, and then can I can try to ah try to stop her there, but I failed miserably. Generally, you'd want to push with uh, with E and Q as fast as you can a wave, and you can move towards other lanes. You can have some roaming pressure, either on bot or top, depending on whatever you want, because your ultimate actually uh, is quite long in range as you can see i'm gonna stick here i'm gonna actually never mind i'm gonna go back mid she's going for a uh, road of ages right here we can see a momo on the map and we're not really having any tools to defend ourselves because the flash is gone but jack's lost a lot trying to do that i'm gonna miss this whoops whoopsie whoopsie also, the debuff, this debuff stays for 6 seconds, so you have enough time to actually get all the minions, well, and, well, most of the minions in a wave. Uh, you can just E right here as I'm doing. You can wait, you can press E again, and then you can start nullifying these minions down, and you can help your Q as well with your Q if you feel like you're not getting them all on cannons you can just cast a spell if you feel like you miss it but you need to do some mana management because you're not having infinite mana but you do have both uh both mana flow and presence of mind if you play like i play uh and generally mana flow is enough but if you want so you, if you do not force to play with presence of mind you can go for uh time warp tonic and that one or the cooldown reduction so it, it depends it depends on your choice once you get ludens by the way the game starts to be way more fun than this because you're going to deal much more damage generally you can just poke them down and you can have a nice time doing so as you can see it's so simple to actually get it get them and i'm gonna try to get here a q right there we go into an e i don't have mana but we got her down to half hp and i'm proking time warp tonic uh, uh, sorry i'm proking mana flow as much as i can and jax is pretty much inting at this point i'm gonna try to bait here all right you can see the amount of well you can see the amount of damage that i tanked and the mana back that came from that and whenever you're having this whenever you're having this advantage uh you can just cast you can just cast like this alt so that you can fast push and that means you can push the tower to the tower the minions now i'm almost gets it but when in some cases they won't get it and so that was easily baitable she probably didn't expect the barrier lots of people don't and now i got back i got these items generally you would want probably boots and the vision word on your first recall i didn't have enough gold for the vision word because i got the blasting one so i went for a potion instead the combo whenever you're out of vision it's q into e into ultimate maybe auto attack somewhere in between if you feel like it but if you're fed you're generally gonna one shot people and you'd want probably to hit q on two or more targets oh uh, sorry on two targets because that's the maximum and getting two targets in a fight generally will poke them so low and yeah, we can actually do a gank on diana again because she has no flash no anything Okay, I'm seeing a Momo. We're winning this, by the way. I have ult in 18 seconds. And... Uh, let me just... Okay, and killed him. Okay, and now back off, because Jax is coming. Well, we didn't back off in time. I don't care, it's fine. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna get the kill on this guy. The problem was that Rengar didn't back off and he had no flash, but it's okay. Now that Diana is so uh, 
it's so low HP I can just try to get the kill right by doing this doing an alt and then WE under right and that was very simple she should have just backed off at that point and Jack's roaming kind of trolls uh, yeah so you can see the main thing that you want to do on Lux is this is to get people in your combo to nullify them and you can just drag people down with the QE ultimate combo and the elimination debuff that's the main combo and also you gotta understand how to properly use W so it's quite simple if you do these things you can alt for wave push as I am alting sometimes and I would have probably ulted here now so you can nullify as many waves from the opponent a lot of Lux players do that here I probably want another another plate so I'm just gonna stick in range okay I got the plate now I go back because we've seen Amumu there and he got he got the herald we also got a double kill on bot and if I want to go back now I can just ult because the ultimate is only one minute having a two level adventure is also nice but I can just stick around I have barrier I have flash I have everything uh, so uh, yeah that's I can just try to actually push here gonna auto attack this gonna kill this I missed one I generally miss minions but if I'm careful I'm rocking my passive and I get the cannons as well throw a Q there miss it throw a E there miss it but poke her as much as you'd want there you go got the E got the Q and you can you can push people and drag people down with that I have an ult here I can just miss it <laughs> obviously that sucked <laughs> but I'm still I still need to go there all right Rengar goes full animalistic mode I need to be careful towards the Diana I'm not seeing her there you can you can uh, swipe with this with E you can check spots if you think that she's gonna try to catch you you can do that and so you're going to be more safe than on other mid laners you have a lot of tools to control yourself the only problem on Lux is when she falls behind because if you fall behind your main goal will be to kill someone E W ultimate try to get them but if you fall behind you won't be able to one shot people as often Another neat thing on Lux is to play with Farsight, I'm gonna pick it. You gotta pick Vision Words by the way as often as you can, cause as a mid laner you, you gotta do that. You can also do a deep word against Assassins, so right here somewhere, if you do it right here, put a word against Talon, against Katarina, against lots of Assassins, they want to go here and pick a side when after they push a lane, so that's another way to actually play. And you can see now how simple it is to actually. Nice. That's, that was a very good hook by the trash. So now with Ludens, you will have much more damage, and so you can push properly. You don't really have any issues now. And being level 11, my ultimate, as you can see, is on 42 seconds cooldown. I can put a false right direction here, a vision word here. Could have put the vision word somewhere else. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, and we got them there, alright, deep, deep Q, nice, exactly as wanted, that went well, now I sacrificed some plates on mid lane, oh actually, actually the plates are gone, but uh, the tower as you can see it's not even that low, and if I wouldn't ult there, but actually I should have, definitely, I could have just ulted the minions back, so another tip is to ult the minion wave and you're going to be just fine. And so I think we went through all the basics that you need to understand. On on deeper stuff I talked about what you want, what's your end game, and the end game most of the time will be probably around objectives as well, when they are forced to go onto the objective or when you go onto an objective and you control the area with vision words with clear vision so let's say you do baron right you put a vision word here or a simple word there and you can just uh, and you can just destroy them that was such a troll you can just put a word in if they don't have uh, 
or if they want to rush towards the drake or towards the baron and you are out of vision you can do as i do on talia you can just cast uh, your full combo and one shot someone because this is power this is the power of lux and generally if you are decent in farm or at least a bit ahead and you don't have 40 people people in your team so they don't stack magic resist you can easily can easily get the kill and now that i want to back off i can just do this i can just push the wave i can back off hit a q miss the cannon because i hit it too late jesus christ i hate myself when i do that but you can see you can see how i'm playing it's not that difficult to pull this off and the main thing that you got to be careful about is the ganks from the jungler or the enemy uh top laner in this case don't know why but we set it up nicely if he's if he doesn't jump here yeah i think i think he's not free still yeah that's just a ghost it's over and they will all die there i'm certain of that nasus just destroys at this point he doesn't care because Jax decided to lose his lane phase by doing that roll okay maybe i should have queued first but i didn't want her to turn on me i could have lived through her engage because she doesn't deal that much but i have no reason to actually overcommit stuff uh, right now, even though that would have been a good opportunity, get that. Thank you. Okay, we can we can just do that now. And yeah, we can do a shield. Look how powerful the shield is, by the way. Look how powerful that shield is. He lived through all of that, and tr because I did two two huge shields on him and. Generally, this shield is actually retarded. You can, I'd say, you can even max your W second whenever you have a strong ADC or someone else to be the main bread and butter tool in your team. So right now I can go here somewhere or here and try to hit, try to hit a dip, a dip thing. And they definitely have a word here because Ash just backed off. Oops. Now they do. I'm just gonna back and get the mid farm. Gonna farm a bit more. And I'm seeing Diana. What <laughs> I created there. <laughs> right. So let's let's just uh, get this and do another team fight. Maybe as you can see at this point, Jana will want to come maybe around here. And so <laughs> that's a bad flash. exactly that's that's how simple it is that's this obnoxious range of this champion and tankiness compared to other champions like if you have barrier and w and flash you're going to be much more safe but in some matchups i actually considered getting cleansed this game because if amumu wanted to camp me that would have been quite annoying and lots of cc would have been bleh. i wouldn't like that i should have passed the cannon there to trash now I have enough gold, but I'd want to farm a bit more. I want to push towers because no one is actually here to stop me. I have flash, I haven't. I'm not sure if I used flash this game. Maybe I used it once. So you can see it's not even a requirement if you're doing fine. Now I can just do an E, Alt, get some minions there. You do another E, and we already push the wave. Right. And then Q. And it's very simple at a certain point, as on most mages to farm. Especially if you're not behind or anything. Alright, so now we just shield the Nasus, we shield the Rengar, we shield everyone that goes in. We get uh, this, we get um, going, for, we go for Rabadons. We also can go for a stopwatch and we're gonna sell the Roran's Ring for the second Needless Large Rod when we get there. Then we'll try an outplay here or we'll die. It's really 50 50. No, no, that was so bad. But still, she escaped, because why not? She actually did it very badly there. <laughs> and she still lived. Also, they... We need a word there. They aren't doing it, but we're fine. I'm just gonna EQ on this Diana. Okay, we're seeing Jana. I don't even have time. I'm gonna use the Q there in hopes she <laughs> would int. Okay. Let's just get these. Bit of a bad farm this wave. 
but let's help Rengar. I don't think he even needs my help. Just gonna get a Q. I'm gonna steal that. Let's let me steal. Ah oh, no, <laughs> too fast. Too fast. I'm gonna cast this here. I don't want surprises. Maybe should have done it deeper. And let's just. Didn't even have the time to hold, but you can see the 40 second allows me to catch people and to cast it again, to catch people, to cast it again, to repeat this process as much as we'd like, because we're actually this far ahead. Nice, nice. That was that was a very good save there. Also, we want to move here. We'd want to wait for an Ash, maybe. And we know they don't have words. Maybe she goes. Ah, I was so slow in the reaction for that. I'm just gonna. I do have stopwatch. I do have flash. I'm not really uh, fearful of anything right now. And we have level 14. At level 16, your ultimate is even lower cooldown. It's you can get to 20 or something. That's even with with cloud drakes, you get even further, which is kind of bonkers in a fight in a longer fight you're gonna have sometimes longer fights and in a longer fight you can also do lots of bursty stuff from people and you can even with your ultimate you should generally try always try to actually get uh, to actually get buffs and think about think about the barons think about the tricks it's a very nasty tool to actually play against because it deals 600 damage if you look at the smite it deals somewhere the same and that means you can try to steal a lot of stuff with that a lot of stuff can be stole stolen by the ultimate and eq ultimate from here for example to here when you know they can't kill you you can just try to steal buffs with that and it's quite annoying to play against i'm gonna get another wave here and i need like 800 gold more for the for the Rabadons, okay, I missed that. It's gonna jump on me, but I have my Q soon, so it's fine. I'm gonna, if you don't mind, just gonna do this. Bam. Okay, I don't care if he jumps on me. Okay. Shield. And we got him. I don't know what he tries. This is 0 6. Jax is a very strong champion, but not if you're 0 6. Wow! That dodge man. Back off. Back off. Don't really have any help here if they decide to engage on us. And so we're gonna, we're gonna get this. Okay, hook. And also, you can, you can do as I do. I generally. They probably have a word here, but I generally try to move. Okay, we got. Ah! To move out of position, as I said, they had a word here, they knew I was there. So you can also play with Red Trinket to ensure that you're not getting problems around this. I'm gonna cast Alt again, I'm gonna push. Look, look at the distance that I'm pushing from. Right? I'm not getting closer, I don't allow them to do anything else. I'm gonna recall now, I'm gonna get a... gonna get a Rabadons, the Rabadons, not a... <laughs> Because we also have stopwatch to be safe. It's, it's a very clean gameplay, this game, and you can also do that. But you gotta do the practice. Hey, look, my teammates had no reason to be here. My teammates have absolutely no reason to be here. With Rengar having, doing cramps, with Nasu split pushing there, with me being in base. So it's pretty clear, and also Reng this guy, if he dies, he shouldn't have me here either. Should have just backed faster. But it's fine. It's fine. I p I was. It was pretty clear that I was recalling. But now we can actually try an ult here. If we get Ash, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That was a very bad ult. I need to stay away because I don't want to do a huge shot shutdown on them. But I don't mind trying to kill someone also. Ah, so slow. But yeah, yeah, it would have been it would have been a bad idea with Jax there. Uh, it's still it's still fine. We're still way too ahead for this game to actually be turned around. So I'm just gonna get rights if there are rights. There are no rights. You can just check the map like this. It's a beautiful feeling. Also, I can alt again. I can probably kill Janna with two E's from a mile away, and I don't mind it. I really enjoy that. Can also get another Drake. 
curious how much damage I deal on this ash. I should deal only with alt around 700, <laughs> somewhere close to half HP, half HP. All right, so let's get three drakes here, and I'm gonna cast the W onto the vein. Just, just keep her tanky, keep her healthy. If you have also a support that's an enchanter, it can get pretty bonkers with the amount of heals that you have. Now, generally, Lux is played on support because that's uh, probably her role in the meta right now. But I believe she's decent on mid as well. Oops, should have waited one more second there. Also, I like the fact that I have lots of mana because it's quite refreshing to have this much. I'm gonna ult. Uh, 40 seconds. I'm not gonna fight. If you do wanna fight, we still win because we're too far ahead. But when you ult, you gotta consider the fact that you don't have to have it for like the next 30 seconds or so. So it's fine. I ulted there. We start Baron. We're going to probably fight them, but I will have it back up. Okay, so you understand what's the situation here. And as I said, I could go here. I could keep them at bay. Amumu, I see Amumu there. Alright. I see Amumu, they might try to steal. Okay, they didn't. We also get the Janna. We didn't get the Janna there. Okay. So get that. And I'm moving towards here. To actually get them. Perfect ult on both targets. And we got the ace. That's the game, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's probably they were gonna probably surrender. That's the prediction right now. And if you just if I just stayed out of vision and put a word there, put a vision ward under me, I could have just ultimate someone instantly and that would have been fine really. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna use Flash for the second time of this game probably and see you next time. This was the Lux tutorial. I really hope it was clear and I really hope you understood everything. I also put timestamps in the description and see you next time guys. Have a nice day, night, wherever you are, and I really, I'm really thankful for you watching my videos and uh, being subscribed to me and stuff like that. So see you next time, guys. I'm gonna make more videos, more Talia videos, and other mid lane guides. I really hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.